I was 18 when I deployed to Afghanistan. My platoon's job was to go out, provide reconnaissance, and engage with the Afghan population. I was struggling after my reintegration, after military, back into civilian life. I saw a video on like Facebook of like a bareback rider or some sort. I was like, that looks terrifying. I think that I'd like to try that. And then uh, I had never sat on a horse. So when I finally got in and sat on him, I was like, whoa, this is crazy. I had to have help putting my rigging on the back of this horse. And right now you gotta do this and slide up and nod your head. And I was still just hyper-focused on the fact that I was sitting on a horse that was about to buff me off. So I just kind of did what I could, nodded my head, and I pitched off like the second jump. Hit the ground, and I was like, wow, that wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Now I want to ride one for eight seconds. September 28th, I went to a college rodeo in Riverton, Wyoming. Got on, it was just another rodeo, another horse. Went out the gate, um, she hit, blew up, turned left, blew up, turned right, blew up. That fourth jump when she really blew up, I remember setting my feet and I was like, ah, something's not right with this one. And then next thing I knew, she had uh, missed her back feet, tried catching herself and just threw herself back into the panels. And I broke my back and pelvis and some ribs, concussion, some internal injuries. And doctors said that I wouldn't ride again for 12 months and I came back in four on a bucking horse. Folks, as this man gets ready to try it out of the Wrangler bucking shoes, I want to tell you the story of Zach Thomas. You're about to meet a bareback rider who just won an award named for Pro Rodeo Hall of Famer Walt Garrison at the College National Finals Rodeo. The winner of the Walt Garrison Award is somebody who exemplifies the qualities of leadership. And this man showed those talents and more. Zach Thomas was in his mid to late 20s when he graduated from college and the reason is this man is not just a bareback rider, he's not just a Mountain State Circuit Cowboy. The guy you're about to watch is a United States Army veteran with a couple of tours of duty overseas under his belt. You don't want to see an American military veteran ride a bucking horse? Say yeah! Thank you for your service. Thank you for our freedom.